episode, I will be talking about the methyl red test. So will be my group members. Basically, this test is used to test the endo products of fermentation. Fermentation can cause neutral products or it can cause acidic. Neutral compounds are the red dye and the positive will be the red dye. These are two different products. Thank you. And my other group member will be taking it from here. Hi guys, as you already know from the intro of Method Red Test, um, this test basically determines whether microbe forms mixed acids fermentation when glucose is added to the broth that contains um, gram negative bacteria. So, one of the functions of the test is to test for the ability to perform mixed acid fermentation. So, um, in the broth, of the test, you see that, oh, well, you can't see, but <laughs> it contains um, glucose, peptone, and phosphor buffer. So when you give the broth to the organisms that perform um, mixed acid fermentation, it, they will produce enough acid to overcome the capacity of the broth. Thus, this will show that there's a decrease in pH. And um, how you can see this is through um, the, the broth. And you can see um, when the when the broth is um when the broth turns red it means that there's a ph i mean the B, the ph is below 4.4 and this uh, results in a well this shows that there's a positive result and as you can see when it's when the ph is of uh, 6.0 it's negative and it'll, the the color of the broth will turn yellow even though it's orange but yeah just imagine that's yellow bye my name is Jenny Zhang. I'm going to be talking about the results of methyl red test. The methyl red test is a pH indicator, and it tests the results of fermentation. If you get a red result, that indicates an acidic compounds were produced, and the pH is less than 4.4. If you get a yellow result, it indicates that neutral compounds were produced as a result of fermentation, which is on the left, and it indicates that the pH is greater than 4.4. The methyl red test can indicate which bacterium is in solution. For example, E. coli will produce a positive red methyl red test, and enteroaerogens will produce a negative yellow result. Hi, my name is Yang, and I'll be continuing the discussion of the procedure of the methyl red test. So what you need is the slant with your desired bacteria in it, and you would also need um, a Durham tube with a ring tube in there. The broth that you'll be using is the glucose phosphate peptone broth. And um, what you want to do is you want to inoculate your broth with the bacteria. And you want to incubate it for at least 24 hours. Um, and after that, um, you want to get your tube. And you want to get around 1 milliliter of the broth and put it in another tube and put around six drops of methyl red and what you'll see is a color change so you would either see a positive red result or a negative yellow or orange result so the positive red result would mean that your organism performs mixed acid fermentation you also want to check if any gas is produced as well um, thank you very much my name is Rachel and I'll be talking about the method red test. So basically an application of Rosie Odise. It's in the everyday lab. Um, this is actually taken from my lab in uh, microbiology. Um, this is an experiment where we are solving for the negative uh, gram positive or uh, gram negative of ABA organism. Um, on the left you can see that the result was positive after we added uh, five or six drops of method red and on the right is the result in which we added six drops of methyl red, but there is no change, and turn orange, so that was a negative result, and that concludes this portion.